Hello, everybody. Okay. I want to talk about motivation. And can we actually motivate ourselves? Or do we need someone to motivate us? It's a good, good question. And actually, we do need others to motivate ourselves. And we also have the power to motivate ourselves too. That is the power of the human mind. So, I want to say that some days you wake up motivated and ready to go. And some days things feel heavy as you arise. And it is just hard to get going and find that inner drive. At least in my experience. So over the past 10 plus years, I have found some simple and smart strategies that work for me to get back into the right groove and to get things done. I want to give everyone 27 of my favorite tips and habits for doing just that. So are you ready for it? All right, here we go. Number one, just get started and let the motivation catch up with you. You don't have to wait for motivation to get started. If you want to work in a consistent way every day, then sometimes you just have to get going anyway. And the funny thing is, is that after I have worked for a while, things feel easier and easier and more fun and the motivation catches up with me. Number two, Start small. If big leads you to procrastinating. So start small if big leads you to procrastinating. Um, We can be, as human beings, procrastinators. That's a given. Okay? Everyone can procrastinate. If a project or task feels too big and daunting, don't let that lead you into procrastination. Instead, break it down into small steps, like just setting up your blog, um, if you want to blog, or cleaning for five minutes, and then take just one of them to start moving forward. Number three, start tiny. If a small step still leads you to procrastination, if breaking it down and taking a small step still leads you to procrastinating, then go even smaller. Just take a tiny one to two minute step forward. That's it. Because the most important thing is to just get going and to build momentum forward. Number four, reduce the daily distractions. When you have easily accessible distractions all around you, then it becomes hard to focus. Okay? So shut the door to your office. Put your smartphone in silent mode at the other end of your workspace or home. And use an extension for your browser like Stay Focused to keep yourself on track. Number five, get accountability from the people in your life. Tell your friends what you will do on social media via phone or in real life. Ask one or more of them to regularly check up on you and your progress. By doing this, you'll be a lot less likely to try to weasel out of things or give up at the first obstacle. Number six, get motivation from the people in your life. So I always say, you know, stay away from vexatious people, vexations to your soul. It's not good for you. So get motivation from the people in your life. Spend less time with negative people who also look at the dark or apathetic side of things, okay? And spend more of the time you have now freed up with enthusiastic or motivated people and let their energy flow over to you. Number seven, get the motivation from people you don't know. Yeah, from people you don't know. Don't limit yourself to just the motivation you can get from the people closest to you. There is a ton of motivating books, podcasts, blogs, and success stories out there that you can tap into to up or renew your motivation. Number eight, play music that gives you energy. 
Ah, oh, music. I come from a family of musicians and, woo, music. Play music that gives you energy. One of the simplest things I do when I feel low in energy or motivation is to play music that is upbeat and or inspires me in some way. A break with a few songs or working while listening to them for a while usually works well. Number nine, find the optimism. Pessimism can drain both your motivation and energy, but the positive and constructive way of looking at things can, on the other hand, energize and recharge your motivation. So when you are in what looks like a negative situation, ask yourself questions like, what's one thing that's good about this? And what's one hidden opportunity here? Hmm. Number 10, be kind to yourself when you stumble. Be kind to yourself. It's so easy to fall into the trap of beating yourself when you stumble or fail. But that don't work. That, well, in my experience, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You just feel worse and less motivated. So, try this the next time. Be kind to yourself. Nudge yourself back on the path you were on. And take one small step forward. Number 11, be constructive about the failures. We are not perfect, everyone. We have failures, okay? We're not perfect. We will fail, but we learn. So number 11, be constructive about the failures. To make your setbacks more valuable and less hurtful, be constructive about them. When you stumble, ask yourself, what is one thing I can learn from this setback? Then keep that lesson in mind and take action on it to improve what you do. Number 12, compare yourself to yourself and see how far you have come come. Instead of deflating yourself and your motivation by comparing yourself to others who are so far ahead of you, compare yourself to yourself. Number 13, compete in a friendly way. When you're in school or at work, make it a friendly competition with a friend too. For example, finish a boring or routine task first. Just that element of competition tends to liven things up. And if you want to, you can also add a small prize for extra motivation, like the winning getting a free ice cream or a beer from the other person. Number 14, remind yourself or of, of why you are working toward this. When you are feeling unmotivated and low in energy, it's easy to lose sight of why you are doing something. So take two minutes and write down your top three reasons for doing this. Work, getting an education, working out, saving that extra money, or something else. Put that note where you can see it every day. Or keep it in your smartphone for easy access when you need a motivational boost. Number 15, remind yourself of what you are moving away from. You can also motivate yourself to get going again by looking at the negative impact of staying on your current path. Ask yourself, what will the consequences be if I continue on this path for one more year? And if I do it for five more years? I have found that this exercise has given me the kickstart I needed many times in the past years. Many. Number 16, be grateful for what you got. When motivation is running low, then it's easy to start seeing your life and the aspects of it through a negative lens. To put your focus on what you still have and who you are and to recharge with positivity and motivation, ask yourself a question like, what are three things I sometimes take for granted 
but can be grateful for in my life? My answer would, for example, be a roof over my head. Thank you, Lord. Clean water and not having to be hungry and not having to go hungry because there's so many children that are having to go hungry in this world. Number 17, mix things up. A rut will kill motivation. So mix things up. Make a competition out of a task with yourself or with someone else. Okay? So when you work out, vary what you do instead of going through the motions. Listen to music and podcasts that you usually don't listen to. New input and variation tends to be a good way to keep the motivation up or to recharge it. Number 18, declutter your home or workspace. Oh, yeah. Take a couple of minutes to clean it up. I find that having an uncluttered and minimalistic home um, helps me to think more clearly. And I feel more focused and ready to tackle the next task or small step. Um, you could feel that way about your workspace. Um, you know, clear it up. Number 19, reduce your to-do list to just one item. Yep. I just said it. If you got like 20 things on your to-do list for today, reduce it to one item. Just put one thing on there. An overstuffed to-do list can be a real motivational It'll just kill all your motivation. So try reducing your current to-do list to just one item. That's one that's most important to you right now. Or perhaps the one you've been procrastinating on for way too long. Like, say, cleaning out your garage. Um, You've been procrastinating, procrastinating because, oh my God, it's just... uh, Just do it. Put that one thing... On your to-do list for that day. Or doing the dishes. Put that one thing on your to-do list. Because guess what? Celebrate it. Because you did those dishes. And hey, even if you put them in the dishwasher. Hey, the dishwasher. Clean those dishes. Celebrate it. And you'll feel motivated. So try reducing your current to-do list to just one item, the one that's most important to you right now, or perhaps the one you've been procrastinating on for way too long. Then get started by taking a big, small, or tiny step and having another list tucked away somewhere where you can't see it with other tasks to do later on. Number 20, don't forget about the breaks. Few things can, in my experience, drain the daily motivation, like just working nonstop. Instead, work for 45 minutes each hour and use the rest for a break where you eat a snack, get out for some fresh air, or do a bit of stretching. You'll perhaps somewhat uh, counterintuitively and get more done in a day and week and do work of higher quality because your energy, focus, and motivation will simply last longer. Number 21, adjust your goal size. If a goal in your life feels overwhelming, set a smaller goal to find your motivation again. And if a smaller goal doesn't seem inspiring, try to aim higher and make it a bigger goal and see how that affects your motivation. Number 22, exercise. Working out doesn't just affect your body. I find that just 20 to 30 minutes of walking around releases stress and makes me feel more focused once again. All right, number 23, take two steps to look back at your success. Close your eyes and let the memories of your biggest successes, no matter no matter what in what part of your life, wash over you. Let those most positive memories boost your motivation. 
Number 24, reward yourself and celebrate your successes, no matter how big or small they are. Celebrate them. I always say celebrate it. If you are looking forward to a nice reward that you are getting yourself after you are done with a task or project, then your motivation tends to go up. If you celebrate a success in some other way, by, for example, by taking one minute to appreciate what you did or by telling someone about your success, then that also usually recharges motivation and positivity. So dangle those carrots and celebrate to keep your motivation up. Number 25, do a bit of research before you get started, okay? Learning from people who have gone where you want to go and done what you want to do can help you to avoid pitfalls and to give you a realistic timetable for success. This is important to not get Uh, demotivated when things aren't happening as fast as you wished this is why you keep that to-do list very very short number 26 take a two-minute meditation break okay when my mind is a bit tired or perhaps even overloaded my energy and motivation goes down so in the afternoon or when needed I tend to sit down with closed eyes and I just focus on my breathing for two minutes. Can you believe that? Yes, I do. This clears my mind and it releases inner tensions. Number 27, go out in nature. Few things give me as much new energy and motivation to take on life as this does. So I often go out for a walk. Um, I like to walk on the beach. And I'm just there in the moment with the nature, the fresh air. I don't think about anything special. I just watch the ocean breathe. I watch it just go in and out. Here's the next step. Now, you may think to yourself, this is really helpful information, but that, but what's the easiest way to put this into practice and actually make a real change with my motivation? Well, I've got something special for you. You hold the key to your own motivation. You do. So start using your key to your motivation. Also, be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Wayne Dyer said, be miserable or motivate yourself. Whatever has to be done, it's always your choice. Zig Ziglar, love this man, love Wayne Dyer too. People often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. God bless all of you and God bless your families. Hope this was helpful.